All right, hello everybody. I am back with another haul. Um, I think I might be a glutton for punishment because I just uploaded the last video where I was having quite a few issues with copying video to my laptop and then exporting it and it got corrupt and lost some video and I had to re refilm it. So, um, on the same day that that's happening, I am now filming my next haul, but um, the last video took me over a week to get that one refilmed and uploaded correctly. And so I have quite a few haul items that are getting backed up. So I just want to make sure that I get um, some more videos out. So this video is going to include um, some items from the Goodwill and then a few items from an antique store. That's uh, the antique store was out of town and the Goodwill is local to where I live. So I'll um, get this light box cleared out and show you the items and show you what I paid for them and how much I think I can get for them. Okay, so the first item is this box. Um, it looks like a new old stock um, box of Studio Nova plates. Um, they're a set of four salad plates and it's in the pattern called Yacht Race. And Goodwill had a $5.99 sticker on this, but I did get, um, I did have a coupon, so I had 20% off, and, um, I did open the box, and I took a look at the plates, and they're all still, um, in the cardboard, and they still have their stickers, their retail stickers on the back. And this says um, Studio Nova Yacht Race. It has like a model number, oven to table, microwave and dishwasher safe, uh, made in China. So um, it's a really cute pattern. Um, really good for probably nautical beach theme. Has these colorful sailboats and then it has a, like a light blue trim and they're you know they're pretty heavy duty plates and they have a high glaze to them so they'd be a lot of fun on a summertime table with a ocean or nautical theme but um there's only, I only got the one box of four salad plates, so I'll take a look at these and comp, I need to comp these out, but they'll, I'm thinking maybe $20 um, for this set of four, um, but they're brand new and still in the original box. And I'm looking for a date. I don't see a date. I guess maybe 80s on these, but I don't know. I'll see what I can find on them, but probably 20 to 30 dollars on these, probably closer to the 20 dollar mark. But no chips or cracks, like I said, they're um, still brand new in the box and the old stock. I'll have to do some research on these and um, see. I think actually the color 
Okay. And um, these are Noritake stoneware. And the color on these is raspberry. Um, so I didn't realize it until I was just trying to peel the sticker. They charged me um, a separate price. So this bottom piece of the butter dish was marked $1.99. And then the top piece was marked 99 cents. I couldn't figure it out because it said I had eight items and I was sitting there counting. I'm like, I don't have eight items. So they charge separately for the butter dish, um, for the lid and the, and the bottom of the butter dish, which is fine. Um, I probably still would have picked it up. And um, I like it. It has a, a soft matte finish and um, it's kind of a speckled color. But it's very sturdy because um, as I was trying to get the sticker off and moving the items around, I was knocking these around and luckily I didn't chip any of them. But I'll wash these up and make sure I get um, all the sticker and residue off of it. The other piece is the sugar bowl. And um, I couldn't, didn't find a creamer. I did look through the shelves a couple times, but um, again, I just like the style of it. It's very simple. The interior of the bowl is um, glazed has like a high gloss glaze and like a cream color. And then the sugar bowl. This, the lid was taped on. And, um, so they did only charge me 99 cents for that item. So, you know, with the 20% off, I actually paid 79 cents for that one. So not bad. Um, but I will probably sell these separately. And um, I did look up some comps and um they do sell fairly well um so i think i can probably make quite a bit of money on these items the um the raspberry color items i think look to be the best selling so um maybe 20 for the butter dish and 18 to 20 for the sugar bowl, but I'll have to do comps and just see, but I think this is a good color and I like it. I really enjoy the color. So hopefully somebody else will too. Okay, and then this is a uh, Debbie Mom stitchery kit and I usually do fairly well with stitchery kits and um, this one's still sealed in the package. Uh, the fabric, the cloth is like a light blue color. And then uh, the thread has the greens and the gold and the blue and the white and the orange and some brown in there. And it has the little black hanger that comes with it. And I tried to peel the sticker off so I the sticker says 99 but with the 20% off I paid 79 cents but the Goodwill sticker underneath was 3.99 so I'm glad I didn't pay 3.99 for it so it must have been there for a while and um this is a little frog frog banner. It has a frog in front of a birdhouse and then you know behind the sticker there's a couple more frogs and then these look like poppies maybe. The red flowers. And then I think maybe yeah that's a little snail down there. So it's really cute. Here I go using cute again. And looking or usually these will have a year on them. Okay, 2014. Um, it's way down at the bottom. So 
So, you know, a little bit older, really cute, sealed, never opened. So these um, I can typically sell for about $15 for this size. And um, the larger ones usually go 20 to $30 and on up from there, just depending on the brand and the size. But this is a Debbie Mom Dimensions. And then this little lady here, let me tell you, she, they had her wrapped up. This is only about half of the tape that I carefully peeled and wiggled off of her. Um, so it was marked $1.99 and I saw her and I snatched her up off the shelf because she is a nun she's praying praying to the rose gods <laughs> i don't know um she has a couple different um elements here she's got the pink roses and then um some of the i don't know it kind of reminds me of what you see on the the poodles the spaghetti poodles or the snow babies um, so she has a rosary here and um, like a gold metallic paint and she's really sweet. I don't see any chips. Even on the flowers I didn't see any chips. There's no repairs and she's just in pristine condition so I'm assuming that's probably why she was taped up so well. Now, she does sit on this base, and that's why I was so excited to get her home and get her unwrapped and out of that tape. I was really nervous about the tape, but um, it worked out fairly well. The only issue is when I took the tape off, because they had the tape and the price tag on the bottom, it peeled off the little red made in Japan, red and gold made in Japan sticker. So I like to keep these stickers intact with the item. Um, so you can see it was right there. So I will probably try to glue that back on. And then, um, I thought maybe that was a number, but it's just, ugh, schmutz. More gunk on the bottom of it. So I'll, um, I'll get that sticker reattached, but, um, she's really pretty. She's just so sweet. And like I said, no repairs that I could see, no chips or cracks. Yeah, I think she's in really fantastic condition. So um, I'll have to look her up, but maybe 18 to 24, unless she's... A rare piece but typically nuns and religious pieces um, do fairly well for me and they usually settle at a higher price point but probably 18 to 24 on her she's sweet and I I might just kind of keep her hanging around for a little bit before I get her listed okay and then the other two items are from a antique store that's oh probably about an hour hour and 20 minutes away and um i did probably 
actually do much for this item, but um, he was in a Christmas display, and let me tell you, he is filthy, but loves the elf, the Christmas elves. It just reminds me of my childhood, and then I saw that this had a skunk. So he was in a glass case, and so um, I had him come over and pull him out, and um, I saw all the dirt inside. I did not see this, because um, the lady held on to him, and she just kind of, she was showing me the front, she just kind of tipped him over like this, and I did not see all that missing paint on the back, but it doesn't bother me, because I think I'm going to keep him. Um... He was 25, and the only marking, the only marking is that little Japan mark, uh, but really, you know, I think I can probably just use a damp sponge and get the dirt out, um, but other than the missing paint on the back and the dirt in the planter, He's really in good condition. I don't see any major cracks or chips. You know, there's a little bit of paint discoloration and bubbling. Maybe a little paint chip here and there. But even his ears and everything else looks in good condition. Same thing with the little skunk. He's sitting on a mushroom. So... I'll see, I'll do some research and I'll see if I can comp him out, but, um, you know, for that price point for $25, I'll probably keep him and I do have a Christmas elf collection going, so I'll see, um, but I just thought he was adorable. And I might even just, if I keep it, I might just even clean the back of his head up and try to find some paint. I know this is cold paint, and so you can't really use water or cleaning solution on it. But if I do choose to repaint just the back part, just to repair it and get all this gunk off, I will probably have to use some water and some type of dish soap, mild dish soap, to try to get this guy clean. So I hope I don't do more damage is what I'm worried about. Cute. All right. And then, um, I, grab this thing off the hanger so quickly when I saw it. So this is a Hobe <clears throat> 1970 New World Stock Crab Necklace. It has the hang tag. And I am assuming this board that it's on was put on by the vendor. I know the backer board is not original, um, but the hang tag is, and um, it looks like it was originally $10, but he is just fantastic. He's um, red, well, he's gold tone. But he has a red enamel paint with turquoise blue eyes, just enamel paint again. Um, he has the cartouche on the chain. And that does say Hobe. And, um, 
he does also have a pin back so he can be worn as a pendant with the chain or taken off and just worn as a pin brooch. Um, these, the crab items, usually sell for quite a bit so I'm gonna have to do some research on him. I picked him up um, for 26 and that has, let's see, it says a 16 inch chain. And I know this is Hobay. It probably meant to say crab, but um, he is fantastic. And I'm debating whether I wanna put him in my jewelry collection or not, but I'll do some research and see what he typically sells for. Cause I can't keep everything but I'm just in love with him he's fantastic and like I said I need to do I need to pull some of my jewelry out and I need to do some videos and get some of that jewelry listed because I'm accumulating quite a collection all right well that was it for today's haul, and hopefully I'll have a better time getting this video exported and posted. So thank you very much, and please uh, like and subscribe. I have absolutely zero subscribers on my channel right now, um, so I am just doing my best to get videos loaded and... Um, would love to have some subscribers and some likes and some comments so let me know um, what you think about the videos and i'll continue to get better and post more videos thank you bye, -bye. okay so i'm just gonna come back on here um because i started to do some research on this and it looks like these, this vendor maybe didn't know or maybe is unaware, but I think this is all married um, because I was looking at the back of the crab and I don't see a cartouche. It's not signed. So I know that a lot of jewelry pieces are not signed, but um, I'm seeing similar brooches come up that are more contemporary. So I have a feeling that this piece was added to the chain and even on the tag, I think that says eight inches. So I'll get this off and I'll measure this out. But then the vendor had 16 inch chain. So Um, but the chain does have the Hobe the original Hobe cartouche hang tag on it. So um, I think the chain is probably good, but I'm wondering if the hang tag doesn't go with the chain and the brooch doesn't go either. So, but I'll continue to do some research on this. I just wanted to come back and add that. So I'm a little disappointed. I was really excited about this, but I have a feeling that this is a married piece. And in that case, I might just sell the chain separately keep the brooch for myself I don't know I'll see what I what I can do with this but or whatever I decide to list um I'll 
do a full disclosure on my research. So, um, all right, thank you.